First Friday is one of the most popular reoccurring events in downtown Lakeland. Every month on the first Friday of the month, hence the name, people from all over the community converge onto downtown Lakeland for an evening of free family-friendly entertainment, activities, live music, art receptions, a car show, and of course, the chance to check out a great locally owned restaurant or retail establishment. Each month, First Friday has a different theme. This one coming up is going to the dogs. All the details are coming up on Polk Place. Welcome to Polk Place. I'm your host, Jeremy Moretti, and with me today is Paula Kramer, who is the Director of Marketing for SPCA Florida. Hey, Jeremy. Crystal Drillowanger with Embrace Pet Insurance and also a member of the Corporate Honor Roll Program. And Angie Kurak with Invisible Fence of Central Florida and also a member of the Corporate Honor Roll Program. Thank you guys for coming in. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Well, here to talk to you about the uh, uh, downtown program you guys got coming up mm -hmm. and uh, want to hear a little bit about what you have planned. Absolutely. Um, SPCA is the host of the first Friday event for the Downtown Lakeland Partnership and it's um, scheduled to be held this coming Friday, um, actually in two weeks, September 2nd, 6 to 9 p.m. and we are in charge of the whole center of Munn Park. So there are going to be about 25 dog vendors, Water Oasis and many of our corporate honor roll partners and sponsors will be there. So we're there to showcase some adoptable dogs like Pippi here that <laughs> is not cooperating um, but wants right. to wander the floor um, and oh, check you oh, out. Hi there. But um, we're looking forward to this event. We've had some great success and because our, our main focus is to make sure that the awareness is out there for SPCA Florida and what we do and how we impact the community. And about eight to 10,000 people will join join us that Friday so we're really looking forward to it. Well what kinds of things do you have planned? Uh, I know you got the different vendors and um, the star of the show right here. Um, talk to us a little bit about uh, what people can expect when they come out. Hi Absolutely. There. Well we're going to bring some adoptable animals with us. Um, like I said we'll have different vendors from all over the um, city will be joining us. Um, let's see pet salon people, um, doggy daycares, um, of course, Embrace and Invisible Fence are going to be there with us. We plan on having a bounce house. Um, Glass House Point is going to be our band for our live entertainment. Okay. Um, we're going to work with, I think Invisible Fence was talking about doing a, um, I'm sorry, I'm distracted by you. Invisible Fence was talking about doing a, um, a setup there to demo their, their product and so forth. So um, we're just really looking forward to um, having a good family fun time at the event, um, exposing people to the different resources. Um, like I said, in the middle of the park, we'll be focused on pet vendors. And of course, Downtown Lakeland Partnership will have the streets blocked and all the other different types of vendors will be representing the, the community on the streets outside of the park itself. Well, if you could talk to us a little bit about some of those resources that SPCA Florida does. Absolutely. We um, have many programs um, besides helping the animals. We also help the hum humans attach to those animals. We have a program called Safety Net that we'll be showcasing there. Also our um, Guardian Angel, Angel program. But one of the things that Crystal will probably highlight and can cover a little more detailed is that we hope to feature one of our dogs, Troy. Um, he is an example of how the Embrace Pet Insurance supported an animal that turned up. Um, the adopter decided that they wanted to take the, the trial offer and Troy, Troy wound up having seizures just a week after, excuse me, about a month after going home. Mm -hmm. And as a result, that insurance um, was able to cover the cost for that for him. Um, and like I said, Crystal can highlight more on that, but the idea is that making sure that individuals are aware of what we do offer at SPCA, because we will have an info table there, but also talking to them about educating the, the population, you know, our, about the number of animals that we have in our community um, that come into like animal services, into Polk County Animal Services, and that number is about 23,000. And we're able to adopt out about 45,000 every year. So supporting SPCA is, is so much bigger than just helping the animals, it's about helping the community as well. Well, Crystal, if you can, uh kind of fall in line right here with uh, 
uh, what you guys offer and also what you're going to have uh, at the uh, first Friday. Sure thing. So um, at Dog Days, we are going to have the hydration station. So we're presenting the hydration station. So we're going to have a lot of water themed things going on in that area. Um, in terms of coverage for what Embrace has and what we offer, we have nose to tail accident and illness coverage. And then we have a wellness program that's available for like the routine care things like mm -hmm. dentals, heartworm, flea prevention, vaccines. Um, and from what Paula was talking about with Troy, so any animals that are adopted out of SPCA Florida, they go out with a two month trial of insurance. So, and what that, what that covers is anything that happens two weeks after adoption. So any accidents or illnesses that occur later on, Embrace will cover up to $5,000 for. Okay. So um, those owners have the option of keeping it and keeping it for life, which Troy's owners did um, and Embrace paid out, I want to say around $2,000 to Troy's owner so far, and it's only been about a year since they've had him. So a lot of things can happen when you own a pet, um, and that's where we come. And also where you don't necessarily know where your pet's coming from either. That's true, yeah. So you have no idea what may have happened in the past that might present itself in the future. So, um, you know, having insurance is definitely helpful for those pets. But we love supporting SPCA Florida. We come to all their events with them. Um, you know, the community aspect of it is really dear to embrace. Um, mm -hmm. We have core values that we follow at Embrace, and one of them is getting involved in, in the community. So that's something very important to Embrace, and it falls right in line with what SPCA Florida does. All right. And I know you guys are going to be out doing a, a demo. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about you know what, what sure. you guys will be doing? Sure. Well, the biggest opportunity for us at Dog Days is to be available to educate the consumer or the public about electronic pet containment. And so what we're going to do is set up an outdoor containment system. Because a lot of people have seen a dog that seems to be staying in the yard, mm -hmm. but they don't really know how that works or why it works or what's involved. <laughs> so we're going to set that up and um, allow folks to kind of see what the training process looks like, what the cues are for the pet, and what the equipment looks like. So it kind of takes the mystery out of it. Mm -hmm. And you know we're all about protecting the pet. SPCA is about rescuing and adopting. And so we're all about protecting them once they're at home and keeping them safe. So that's kind of, that's what we're going to be doing while we're out there. Well, it sounds like a lot of great educational stuff. Okay. I know when we got our dog back almost 20 years ago, uh, we tried the pet containment. We didn't have anyone available to show us how to do it. She was a beagle. She followed her nose, led her right out of it. But you know, those types of educational type things can really be helpful for homeowners, and especially with the insurance that it, you know is out yeah. there now that wasn't there years ago. Oh yeah, uh, really, really helps out mm -hmm. with some of those pets. Yeah, and veterinary medicine in general has you know gotten so sophisticated that you need those things nowadays. Oh, it's changed drastically, oh, yeah. especially yeah. in recent years. So, well, looking forward to seeing you guys out there. Yeah, it's going to be a great time. Um, like I said, just different entertainment options and so forth. Um, we are going to have other sponsors there. Lakeland Auto Mall is going to be there. Canon Subaru, um, Watson Clinic. Um, they're all big supporters of SPCA Florida. Um, the Florida Tropics are going to be there, the new indoor soccer league that we have coming okay, to Lakeland. Yeah. Um, and Tampa Bay Lightning is going to have an interactive um event there I'm not sure it's a 32 foot long trailer is what I've heard so it sounds like it's gonna be some fun so we'll we'll see what that's that we'll like see what that's about <laughs> but we're really looking forward to the opportunity and like I said it's a t uh, everybody can bring their four-legged friends canine friends mm -hmm. on a six-foot leash we okay. don't um, recommend the retractable leashes because they're a little difficult to keep the little guys under under control but um, social socialized dogs would be pre preferred so sure. we don't have any challenges <laughs> um oh i almost forgot lakeland police department is going to be doing some demos for us so okay. and we've got another demo group coming as well i apologize i don't know the name we've had a couple of changes to the agenda and the program but we're really excited about the different activities that we're going to have it should be a fun night sounds wonderful and well you know first friday is always a good time too so now you know, even you know enjoy it with your pets so. yep absolutely all right. We'll look forward to seeing you guys there. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. SPCA Florida invites you to the first Friday Dog Days Downtown 2016 on Friday, September 2nd from 6 to 9 p.m. It all happens in Munn Park in downtown Lakeland and is free and open to the public. 
The event benefiting the animals at SPCA Florida is expected to draw between eight and 10,000 people. Attendees are invited to bring their social canines on a leash downtown for water activities, product samples, treats, obedience training, demonstrations, and more. For more information, you can call Paula at 863-577-4608 or look them up on the web at www.spcaflorida.org.